Hey there y'all. Today I'd like to present my final update video on my 2012 Toyota RAV4 Limited. I plan on making a fun video with this vehicle tomorrow morning that I'll upload at a later time. But for now, I just wanted to provide one last mileage check. Just, you know, one of those little updates people seem to enjoy. The exterior color is known as Black Forest Pearl. It's kind of hard to see right now, but it's a dark green. It shines nice in the sun. A lot of people really like it. Personally, it isn't one of my favorite vehicle colors, but I've grown to like it a little bit more over the past couple years. It's a very popular color too. A lot of people love this color. This is the only ugly thing right now. Some birds decide they want to attack it. Maybe that's kind of a sign of me to trade it in, is the birds are starting to attack it. It's even in the door there too. And the rock climbing gym I like going to is about to reopen in June, so that's some nice news. And speaking of nice news, I graduated college and I also got a full-time job and I like to think of this upcoming thing as a graduation present. The RAV4 has been a staple of the YouTube channel. It was purchased August 1st, 2012, and my first video on the channel was a garage video of the RAV4 when it only had a thousand miles on it. I've documented this vehicle extensively throughout my YouTube career from interior critiques because I thought I was a professional auto journalist when I was 13 years old, up to occasional little startup videos and even a 100,000 mile update in March. Y'all have seen the two severe accidents it's been through, the time the backup camera failed, when I started driving it. There's been a lot going on with the RAV. I started driving the RAV4 in July 2016. I used to drive a 2007 Ford Ranger. So this was technically my second vehicle. However, the vehicle that will be purchased tomorrow will be my first vehicle in a legal sense. Yes, this vehicle is technically my parents still. They have offered to help me with the new vehicle, which is very nice. I just demonstrated my favorite thing about this car, which has to be the keyless access with push button start. The new car is having that, of course. And I absolutely love the cargo space. I don't need this much cargo space anymore. I really enjoyed the cargo space when I was traveling back and forth to college. Folding the seats flat, shoving the passenger seat forward, I was able to fit all sorts of stuff in here. And when my sister moved away last year, I was able to carry dressers and all sorts of stuff in the back of the RAV. I'll need to take my roadside repair kit and my jumper cables out. That's stuff you don't want to forget about. One hundred three thousand sixty six miles. I actually hit 103,000 miles today. I was driving around a good bit, so it makes sense that I'm at 3,066 miles now. I put a ton of miles on here. I hit 101,000 sometime in April, so I hit 102,000 a couple weeks ago, and I'm at a, over 103,000. So yeah, I've been doing a lot of driving with this thing. The main thing I'm looking forward to in the new vehicle, and it sounds really weird, I know pretty much every car has this now, is a touchscreen with CarPlay and Android Auto. The audio system in here is very easy to use, but I'm really looking forward to having uh, Apple Maps navigation displayed, as well as the ability to change your playlist, prompt Siri to mention my music, etc.
The features in here did cause me to have some higher standards looking for a new vehicle. For instance, I love my heated seats along with my keyless access and push button start. Love the power sunroof in here. Very nice thing to use. It's kind of cold outside right now actually, but we're reaching the end of the month that it's ideal to use the sunroof and put the windows down. I am going to miss this absolutely massive center console. I don't have my, I don't work at the grocery store anymore, so I don't have to stuff my apron in there anymore. So losing the big center console isn't a big deal for me. But as I've shared before on this channel, there have been a few things I haven't really liked about the RAV. I kind of stated earlier about the color that something a little bit brighter would be more of my flavor. This car is a bit brighter. I'm kind of wanting a touch screen, which seems kind of weird. I love having the little image in the back of camera because visibility is good, but just having something more modern. And if I'm able to take advantage of finding a vehicle that's a decent price, I don't want to give too much hints here. I'll unveil it when I unveil it and has just some simple features to it. Just the same performance. I'm trying my best to just keep it vague, but it's something y'all are going to like. Y'all are going to miss the RAV. I know y'all will. I'm going to miss the RAV too, but this is something I've been planning for a long time. I've been planning this for over a month, but it got halted last month when my parents were like, guess what? You need a job and to graduate before you do this. And I was like, okay. And now my reward has come. My offer for the RAV4 is also much higher. I'm receiving a thousand dollars more than I did last month, which is fantastic. And I'll still be able to get the same deal that I was able to get last month on the car. The main thing that kind of bothers me is also the traction. Even though I have these really nice Michelin tires now, traction is still kind of a weak spot for me in the RAV. This back seat is decent. It's a bit better than I thought it was, but this hard panel here is kind of difficult and I sit up surprisingly high. I'm used to being up front a bit lower down. And this power outlet's nice, but it's not completely going away. And if I'm gonna have CarPlay, I can just charge my phone while plugged into the USB. And the spare tire on the back is really cool. This is a really cool looking vehicle. In fact, I'm actually making myself feel better saying that with this color combination, the features it has, it's only the front wheel drive four cylinder model. It's got a couple accents on the Carfax, but I'm very optimistic that whoever gets this thing is gonna get it fast. It isn't a basic brown one or whatever. This is, this is one of the most desirable RAV4 colors. As I've said, everyone loves this color. So everyone loves RAV4's Toyota reliability. This thing is incredibly reliable. So. I just wanted to thank y'all for watching this video. As with all my videos, it ended up getting a bit longer than expected, but this is the final update and startup on my 2012 Toyota RAV4 Limited. Thanks y'all so much for watching and for staying tuned all these years, seeing the RAV4 grow and looking forward to it going to a new home. Take care y'all. Bye-bye.